Hello gorgeous and welcome to the Witch's Oracle. Today is Monday. Everyone's favorite day to hate, right? Monday, especially after the Oscars. Ooh. Okay. So, um, starting off, I always let everybody know uh, how I work my readings, what cards I use, where I get them. I basically fill you with a whole bunch of information and then I get into the reading. So what I do, um, or what I've been doing now, is I break it down starting off with numerology. So today is February, so we have the second month, with this, which is patience. February is all about patience. And then today is the 10th. Today is the day of karma. Um, and then <laughs> after the weekend, imagine that. And then 2020, that's our year. So two plus zero plus two plus zero is four. So four is perseverance. It's the year of perseverance. Okay, so in numerology, then you add all these numbers up together. Two plus one plus zero plus two plus zero plus two plus zero, 16. Okay, 16 is the beginning of love. The beginning of love and then we break numbers down to its smallest form just like in math and science and all of that fun stuff which six plus one is seven bam seven all right so since today is the number seven i went ahead and pulled the number seven card from my astrology deck i use the uh burberry astrology deck um some people might pronounce it differently. That's how I pronounce it. Take it or leave it. If I'm incorrect, that's fine. You feel free to correct me. Um, I don't have a problem making mistakes and people telling me what is correct. I'm absolutely okay with that. That's learning. Um, I'm always up for learning. Okay. So, there we go. So, Libra is balance libra is a seven uh the planet for libra is venus the planet of love one in six skip two one in six um you are the air element so you're all about the mind thinking two and five so two and five break down to oh that's right seven look at here Seven, 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 seven. Um, I grew up in Vegas. That's like seven, 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 seven. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Like, <laughs> that's amazing. That is amazing. So I'm just setting these over here um, so they can be seen. I'm reading with the Grand uh, Lux Tarot, which uh, you can get on Amazon for... Um, you know, less than, I think, $25. And then I'm backing it up with the Colette Baron Reed, who is a medium, who is amazing. Um, the Spirit Animal Oracle, which this is one of my favorite, favorite things. Love, love, love this. Um, again, Amazon, um, I think under 30 for that one. Um, I do have uh, videos where I've done the reviews on them where you can see all the cards i tell you exactly where to get it, exactly what i paid for it all of that fun stuff i use my numerology deck so numerology uh breaks it down to the you know to the bare essentials it's you know it is what it is what it is like see four the year the number four perseverance it's the year of perseverance so it's not my interpretation it's not my idea it's not what i think this is just what the numbers are Okay, you'll hear me say things like star seed. A star seed number is a double number. Two, two, one, one, three, three, like that. You don't add these together. The reason being is two is patience, okay? Patience upon patience is intuition. So it's like two to the next power, okay? So patience upon patience, individuality. One and one, individuality. One is a new beginning. One with one is individuality. So whenever I see a one behind another number, I know that's about an individual, okay? 
um, when I see a two following another number, I know that that has a bit to do with your gut feelings, your intuitions, things like that. You could see here with three, it's creativity. Okay, three has a trilogy, creativity, communication, and collaboration. Could be one of those three things. So we have boom, boom, boom. We have the trilogy, and then we have the key meaning. And that's pretty much for um, for all of them. And um, let's see, are my glasses fuzzy or am I not in? There we go. So this is what um, I talk about with numerology. Okay, and there's the Michelle Bachman numerology deck that I love. Okay, which interesting quick story. When I first got this deck, I absolutely hated it. I didn't know about numerology. I tried everything to buy, sell, and trade these cards. I tried to pawn them off on everybody. Nobody wanted them. Nobody wanted to buy them. I got stuck with them, and I was like, well, you know what? If I'm stuck with them, I might as well figure them out. I read the book cover to cover, and I was absolutely gobsmacked. Now you can't pry these from my cold dead hands. Um, and I got into numerology because of it. So this is uh, an example of how fate and destiny comes into play where these cards were meant to find me and not leave me. And because they didn't leave me, um, I decided, well, if I'm stuck with them, I might as well get to know them. And when I did, I fell in love. So that's how, that's how that works. Karma, fate, destiny, all that. All right, so now we have this all broken down for you. So Libra, this is your symbol, seven. Venus, there's your symbol, seven. Air, symbol, seven, okay? Breaking it down. Now, if you're wondering what this is, okay? Seven plus seven plus seven plus seven is 28. Patience and manifestation. Eight plus two is 10. What? Yes, today is the 10th. Your numbers break down to a 10. 10 and 10. And Venus is a 16. The date breaks down to a 16. Tell me that the numbers don't speak in volume. Yes, they do. Okay, so here we go. Getting into your reading now. Um, this is where um, I get into it and I go, okay, we're going to start with um, what I like to call letting Jesus take the wheel shuffle. I just basically let the cards fall where they may and whatever cards pop up those are the cards I'm meant to pull now just to let you know I am not nor do I claim to be a psychic I am not nor do I claim to be a medium I am an empath I feel things I'm here to deliver a message to you in a general read since you're not sitting in front of me it's the best I can do if you'd like a free reading I'm happy to do so like and then click subscribe comment below let me know you want a free reading I'll get in touch with you 100% free I guarantee you won't be disappointed read some of my reviews um, under some of my other videos and you'll understand that the people that get readings from me are so happy and glad that they did and the thing about it is that I can't tell you anything that you don't already know, but there are certain things sometimes that we know, but we don't want to listen to. We don't, we don't want to hear it. You know what I mean? So if I tell you something like, oh, you know, that job that you're at, you hate it. You don't want to be there and you want to leave like yesterday. And you're going to be like, oh, how did she know that? Like, you know, or whatever. It's things like that. Okay. So starting off, we have domestic harmony, four and six. So there's our four for the year of perseverance, bringing that forward. This right here, this green, this is perseverance. Six is love. All of this is love. Perseverance with love, domestic harmony. Also, this breaks down to 10. Hello, 10. Today's the 10th. The numbers are 10. 10, 10, 10, 10, 10. Okay, domestic harmony. Bam. Boom. Next. Oh, look who peaked up again. Individuality. Okay, 11, 11. Individuality. All right. So, um, Libra, this definitely, this definitely is uh, your reading for sure. Um, okay, and here again we go with the four, with perseverance. Perseverance, 
four, remember what I said, if the four follows, it's about the person, self-discipline. Libra, some self-discipline needed here. Self-discipline, domestic harmony, self-discipline. Next, we have nine and nine. So another star seed number. So now you have two star seed numbers. Um, it's nine is completion. In numerology, it goes from one to nine. One is the beginning, nine is the completion. 10 is like the start of the new because one is the beginning and zero is is spirit or karma and so you have the beginning of the karma so from one to nine then 10 is is that coming full circle make sense hope so okay so with nine it's complete 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 is compassion okay completion completion compassion Next, we have synchronicity. So here we have manifestation, eight. Um, and then we have seven, which is personal growth. Manifestation with personal growth is synchronicity. Getting into sync with one another. You know, bringing it together, making it work as one. So that's 15. This breaks down to a 15. So one and five is six. So that's bringing in the six again over here from love. Um, with the date today breaks down to one and six, Venus breaks down to one and six. So we do have the six over here um, regarding the love. So here we have um, eight and seven is 15, one and five, which is the beginning of change, the beginning of change and then love. So getting in sync with each other, this domestic harmony. So in order for that to happen, Libra, you need some self-discipline and you need to show some compassion, okay? And or it can only be one of two things. In life, we have to be honest with each other. Sometimes we're the asshole. Sometimes they're the asshole. And I hope you don't uh, get offended with my uh, language. It just, it is what it is. Let's pretend that we're all adults here. And, you know, that's just, you know, sometimes we're the jerk, sometimes they're the jerk. Um, so you have to determine, you know, on this, are you lacking compassion or is someone else? Are you lacking self-discipline or is someone else? Like Sir mix -a -Lot over here. Um, big butts. That's not his name, but. <laughs> right, sir? Everyone thinks his name is Sir because I address him as Sir. Sir Toasty. His name is Toasty Sturdle, and he just has to be in the mix, which is very not very good for me because I can't really move in my space. Okay, so now that we have this established, we can move forward and bring the cards into play and see what we have going. This is the... Um, Tarot Grand Luxe deck. Which while I'm shuffling, I am a, um, a fan. It's, it's beautiful, uh, stunning artwork. Really pretty. I'm not a fan of, of the... I don't know, fronts, backs, what do you call it? I'm definitely not a fan of the, the cardstock. It feels very cheap. Um, but I love the art on these cards for sure. They do have a very high chemical odor to them which is um a bit rough when you're trying to read and you have this very strong chemical smell wafting up into your face it's a bit much okay so there you can see the cards that are popping up and those are the ones that we are going to pull Now see what I did here? See how I pulled all these up? 
So what I do is I basically move past them and I come back here and I'll pull the rest of the cards and then give them a tap. If they drop back down, then um, I wasn't meant to pull them. And if they don't drop back down, then I was. But since I pulled them, see that one's staying. But since I pulled them as I was um, trying to get into the deck, um, I try not to put... <laughs> I always check... His tail's flipping them all over. I always check, look at that art. Oh, it's stunning. It's just, look at how that glows. It's amazing. Um, I always check the back of the deck to see. Um, and you can tell this has a very masculine feel to it. This is a great deck, I think, for, um, for people who like that really masculine um, feel of, of a deck, for sure. Because there's a lot of really feminine decks out there. I like that there's masculine decks for people as well. So everyone kind of has their thing. All right, starting off, we have, oh, okay, hello, 10. 10, karma, today, 10, 10. It's all about 10s. So we have 10, 10 of wands, heavy burden. Heavy, heavy burden. The straw that broke the camel's back. Okay? Heavy burden. Um, so where we have compassion, this could be someone having too much compassion. Taking too much on. You know? Taking too much on. Um, if you take too much on and you put burdens upon yourself, you cannot be mad at others for the burdens you put upon yourself. Okay? So self-discipline here you have to learn how to say no and delegate okay we have the queen of cups the queen of cups cups are our emotions the queen represents it's like the king father queen mother knight um young person and page child okay so that's kind of the quick basic rundown of how that goes but it's also then guardian nurturer um champion and messenger if that makes any sense so with the queen we have uh, um a feminine energy coming in guardian um holding on to emotions next we have the beginning um, with our thoughts and our mind, something new coming in, something new happening. Judgment, 10 and 10. Well, today we have two tens, 10 and 10. Judgment, okay, are you being judged? Or are you judging others? What's happening there? You know, you have to keep in mind something. If we sit around judging other people and worrying about what other people are doing, we're not focusing on ourselves. We're not focusing on what we're doing. And he, and there's something that someone once said, and I can't remember who said it, but it rang so true. And this is what it was. What other people think about you is none of your business. I was like, wait what <laughs> it took me and then I thought about it for a minute if you stop and breathe and just think let something just marinate in your brain for a minute and not just you know try to poo poo it away or talk it away or whatever I thought about it and I was like you know what that is actually very 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 true what other people think about me is, is quite literally none of my business so, um, and what I think about other people is none of their business. But here's the thing with judgment. You don't know why someone does what someone does. You, you, just, you just don't know. There's a great story in the Bible that I love, absolutely love, where a king um, uh, gives mercy onto a villager 
and releases him of his debts to the king so he wouldn't be killed. And he um, says, um, I forgive you of all debts. And he was uh, welcomed to leave and go on. So then down the road, that villager held another villager liable for his debt to him. And then he brought it in front of the king and the king said, how dare you? Hold him liable for his debt when I released you of yours. <gasps> oh, interesting, right? Very interesting. So judgment is never good. You know, mercy, forgiveness, all these things are easily said, more said than done. But um, yeah, always be careful with that judgment because even if there's something that you believe to be true, it may not be your place to project that outward believe whatever you want to believe within yourself but don't project it outwardly it's not it's not for you to do that's god's job that's the universe's job you know it's not for you to punish or criminalize or judge at all it's not your place okay excuse me sir thank you so compassion the world here we go again two tens ten and ten in the beginning so karma 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 the beginning of karma the world you have the world at your feet like you have everything that is amazing so karma 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 chameleon that's a boy george reference yes i'm old boy george okay uh next we have this is inverted but we have the four of swords the Four of Swords, to me, um, if you look at the Four of Swords, um, it's quite clear. It's basically rest in peace. It's uh, basically someone laying on a slab in a church. You have, like, the memory of. It's kind of a rest in peace. Um, but it also could mean, you know, you're needing to take rest, needing a break. You know, you're, you're going to, you know, work yourself to death or, you know, that type of thing. This is in reverse, okay? So you're not at peace at all. Not at all. Okay, I don't know what's going on, Libra, but there's no peace here. There's no peace. In this domestic harmony, there's no peace. We need self-discipline, compassion, synchronicity. Right now, um, no mas. Nope. Okay, now we have the Knight of Wands. So bringing in that knight, look at that. I mean, is that not powerful, that image? Wow. Gosh, so beautiful. Tarot cards are just, just it's art in your hands. It's art you can touch and feel. It's just it's stunning. Oh, it's stunning. It's such a blessing to have. Okay. So the Knight of Wands. Wands is taking action. Taking action. The Knight of Wands is very much coming in hot. Coming in hot. Not thinking about it. Not planning it. Just like, let's go, bam, go, boom. You know? Um, kicking doors in. Taking names. Just like, you know, not really thinking things through. Hot-tempered, you know, worry about the repercussions later situation going on there. Um, which is not always the best way you know what I mean so a bit of self-discipline here next we have the queen of swords so another queen the queen of swords so again with the mind um the way that we're thinking our thoughts our mental well-being um we've got the peacock you know peacocks are very look at me strutting around you know, doing that peacock dance that they do, um, trying to get the attention, doop, 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 you know, gosh, look how beautiful. I just, I can't, I can't. I mean, that is stunning. You can't look at that and tell me that is just not, like, framed on a wall in an art gallery. If it didn't have the cue, and look at that. I mean, come on. Wow, how powerful. Oh, so beautiful. Okay, sorry, I get distracted. Um, let's 
so we have the two queens going on now. All right, next we have the nine of wands. So the nine is completion. The nine of wands, kind of an ongoing battle here. Strong resolve. Someone's very, like, someone's got a strong resolve. But we have this kind of ongoing battle. You're kind of standing your ground, um, waiting, you know, the one battle's ended. You're waiting for the next one to start because it's nine. It's ended. Now you're waiting for something else to start. So um, just this ongoing battle. So we have this heavy burden and this Knight of Wands happening here and this ongoing battle. So it's time for some self-discipline and some compassion. Next we have, wow, the Knight of Coins. Coins represents domestic, domestic, home, work, job, money, family, domestic. Um, it's very earthbound, um, grounded. So you can see the knight holding on, holding on to something that he values. Okay. A bear protecting, you know, the bears are the great protectors. They can also be very, very, very loving and gentle creatures to each other, to themselves, but they can also be very brutal and, 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 you know, when they need to be. So, um, so you have this Knight of Wands and the Knight of Pentacles. No, the, yeah, the Knight. No, wait. Yep. Sorry. I was like, wait, do we have a king? No, no king. Hmm. Trying to think placement on this. Where? It's kind of a crossover. So I'm actually going to like, sir, um, place that there. It's kind of a crossover to where it's domestic, but we're needing this individual to be a little more uh, disciplined and compassionate and focused. So, um, yeah. Well, Libra. Okay. Let's bring in, well, wait, before I do that, sir, this is not working for me today. I'm going to need you to step down, please. Thank you. I know it. Okay, <laughs> this is not conducive to what I need right now. Can you please go lay in your bed, sir? Thank you. Okay. Boy, he is not taking no for an answer today. So I always check the bottom of the deck <clears throat> to see if we have any... Um, Anything that refers to this reading or, oh, I'm going to have to do a part two on this one because I'm not even close to being done. I'm almost out of record time. Okay. Oh, yep. Okay. We have the Ten of Pentacles. So Ten, there's our Ten. I'm bringing in the Pentacles again. The Ten of Pentacles, this means that if you can get this um, self-discipline, compassion, synchronicity pulled together wow things would be amazing 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 wow we have the, a knight of swords wow we have the knight so we have three knights three knights interesting and we have the magician so we have right here the uh the one the beginning the magician the manifestation we had right here manifestation for synchronicity manifestation the magician basically means you have all the tools that you need to manifest what it is that you uh need to want in your life you it's, it's all there you have it you just need to put it together figure out the chemical 
combination that makes it work. Figure out how much self-discipline you need, you know, how much compassion you need, how much can you fit into it to make it synchronized. So it's, it's kind of that, you know, putting it together. You have the two of swords, which kind of the veil over the eyes. You have the two, which is patience and um, also could be partnership to people. Um, she's got her swords up. So kind of in defense and the veil covering her eyes, kind of not really wanting to look at it, not really wanting to see what's kind of really going on over here. All right. And then we have the king of coins. So going over here, now we have the, wait a minute. Oh, that was. Wait a second. Hold on a minute. I think I made a boo-boo here. I think I called... Oh, because it was the Ten of Coins. So we have the Ten of Coins and the King of Coins. So that is... Okay, that's amazing right there. That is amazing. So when over here when we got this Queen of Cups, this page, so you know you're, it's a message of love, okay? Your brain brought forth a message of love. All right. So that is where that tale ends. So I'm going to continue. So there's going to be a part two if it hasn't happened yet. If you want to complete your reading with your oracle, you'll just have to click over to part two. Sorry, sometimes, you know, a, a basic good read takes at least.